Hey there, YouTube. I just wanted to post a little video about why I'm interested in Laodon. And it's actually kind of complex because, like, if I were pitching Laodon to somebody else, I wouldn't really know how to describe it. Um, and I think a lot of people are turned off by just kind of the general description you might find from Wikipedia about it. And that's kind of why I'm doing this video anyway, is it's just hard to talk to say in one sentence. Like, with Esperanto, you could be like, it's for world peace. Or, you know, like, it has at least a one sentence, one paragraph pitch. But Laodon is just a lot different for me. And it's such a... It's just different and kind of mysterious in a way. And the cat's over there playing with stuff. But I was just going to talk a little bit about what is appealing about it to me. And... Laodon has its own problems. It has some problems other conlings have and has its own set of stuff, but these are the reasons why I think it's interesting. So, the first thing is that Laodon was invented by a woman, and um, I know about Tokipona and I love Sonya, um, but like Tokipona is difficult for me, and I think it's because it's so contextual based. Um, like, I have spent some time learning the grammar and can write stuff, but then, like, I can't read what everybody else is saying. I have no idea, because there's just no context for me, and I haven't kept up with it a little bit. But uh, with Laodon, it's, like, a sophisticated enough language. I don't mean that in a negative way about Tokipona. I just mean, like, sophistication as in more complex. I mean, Tokipona only has 120 or so words. So, you know, that one you're really building a lot of words, but Laodon is a little bit more natural feeling. And you might think that, oh, I don't... Who invented the language isn't part of what the language is, but I kind of disagree with that. I mean, you can see the reflection of a person's mindset or their values based on the language that they've made. And you can see clearly, like, with older languages like Esperanto and Edo, like, this was invented kind of when women weren't important um, in the world. And that's, that's part of why Laodon is interesting to me. It's relatively new, and it was invented by a woman, and it is completely different from, like, the other conlings that I know. And I, I don't know a lot of them, but... So, like, Esperanto was invented by one guy, Ido was, like, 12 dudes, uh, Loglin, Ithquil, or however that's pronounced, and so on. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the interesting things for me. Also, it's obscure, but in a kind of a weird way, and I don't remember how I found out about Laodon. Uh, it's probably something I'm... I remember how I found out about Esperanto. It's because I'm a programmer, and programmers invent languages, programming languages, all of the time. And so I was like, huh, has anyone done this for a foreign language? I might want to learn a foreign language, but I don't know what to learn. Let's see if there's one that's easy and logical and not, you know, weird with all of its conjunctions and whatever. Conjugations. Conjunctions, I don't know. Um, so I might have found out about Laodon when I was just looking into conlangs, and I was like, oh, this is interesting, it was made by a woman. Um, I'll look more into this later. But, so for me it feels like it's a language that people know about, if you're into conlangs. At least that's my impression of it, but then it's obscure enough that, like, nobody speaks it. Like, I know maybe a handful of people who are interested in learning it, or have used it to some extent, and I know it seems like there's a whole other, like, generation, like, 2008 and before, who were using Laodon, or at least talking about it, but it seems like they've kind of evaporated, and I don't know where they went. Um, so it's just this weird thing, like, I feel pretty alone. Whereas with Esperanto, I know there's someone I could talk to every day in Esperanto if I wanted to, but with Laodon, well, maybe the people I know studying it aren't doing it right now. They're on pause, they're doing something else. So it's weird. So in a way, it's a mystery. In the, like, there's not much content out there, and content is dying, and I'm backing up whatever I can find. Um, I already have an archive of Amberwind's lessons, and I found uh, Jackie Powers website on Laodon, and I backed that up. Her site's still up, I just couldn't find the Laodon content. So, it's it's weird like that. It's like, I don't want it to die, but I'm kind of late to the party. 
So I'm trying to do what I can to back it up or make um, more open licensed resources for it or just making videos about it. But since there's just also not a lot of content and since Suzette has already passed, it's just kind of like, I don't know, studying the language gives a little bit of an idea into the mindset of the person. Um, or, like, it's interesting to read about why it was built, or her thoughts about language and gender and all of this. And it is from kind of an 80s context, and, like, there's there's still gender challenges, but it feels like a different... Not completely different, but somewhat different set of challenges. Uh, another reason I'm interested in Laudon is that it sounds so interesting to me. Um, I'm not even sure how to properly speak it at this point because there's so few clips out there and I'm really not used to using tonal languages like I've studied some Mandarin Chinese but it sounds more natural to me to say like Ni Hao than like I don't even know how to speak lot on so I'm just trying to like learn from books and like the few audio clips I have because even if you can find clips of words here and there there's not like I know of two sentences spoken in Laodon that I can go for to ref for reference, but uh, I like that it doesn't sound very European. Like that's why I always I never really studied European languages growing up. Like I always have been interested in languages that have different writing systems because you write it and then like I don't know it's it's different. It's another challenge. It's not too similar to what you already speak if you're an English speaker. So I like that. Like, the vocabulary is different. Like, if Esperanto, you can kind of see what you're talking about if you don't know Esperanto and reading through it, but, but Laodon's just, like, totally different. So in a way, it's more of a challenge. I also think that it's interesting that it attracts a certain type of conlanger. Uh, if you're into conlangs and you're learning Laodon, well, you're probably a very specific subset of people. Um, and on the same note, it also deters certain other types of people. But I think it's interesting to find, like, learn more about the people who are interested in the language enough to actually, like, study a little bit of the grammar. And it does have its frustrating bits, so because there aren't very many people to talk to or who are, act act who are actively studying it, uh, and I don't know, like, I know there's been discussion in the past about inventing words from just like live journal posts and stuff, but I don't know who to go to now to talk about like how do we define more words to define ourselves or add words to the dictionary, like you know, more modern technological words or whatever, I guess and it's kind of a struggle to just build it from what's currently in the dictionary on the lawdonlanguage.org website so that's like such a challenge and it's frustrating, but it's also like like addicting in a way, like <laughs> like a puzzle, I guess. It has some of the same problems from that other conlangs might have, kind of how it was invented in a vacuum, um, where when you have kind of one person building the language, they kind of only have their own viewpoint to work from. So that would be my cat. Um, so again, there's not a lot of LGBTQIA plus words, and I don't really know how to define any of them. I don't really know how to describe myself. Um, I also don't like that it's female default with a male suffix. I really prefer some form of symmetry, like just neutral main term with whatever suffix is for whatever gender. And I understand it was invented as a language for women, so it's from a woman's viewpoint, so like perhaps as a woman, as a woman, uh, I would have a lot of women friends and in our context or in our world we would be talking about women as defaults, whereas like in historical times men would be talking to other men and they really only care about what other men have to say, so man is the default. But I still don't like the asymmetry. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd rather just have the root word for anybody and then have the suffixes for not even just two genders, however many genders, or just not have suffixes, or, I mean, people could always add on suffixes to try to describe how they perceive themselves. So, again, like, it's just, it's frustrating that it's hard to describe simply, 
there are a lot of threads and communities, or, you know, a lot, that I found online, and the, res and the response to Laodon seems to be really negative, even more so than towards Esperanto, because at least, like, common, non-conling people have the response of skepticism about Esperanto, like, oh, that's weird, that wouldn't work, or whatever. But with Laodon, you see just a lot more kind of hatred or anger towards the idea, and I'm wondering if that's reflecting of something else related to feminism, or women, or whatever in general. And I know women have responded in the same way, like, we speak language already! Uh, how dare they suggest that we're missing some language that we, from our language that we already speak, or whatever. But it's, it's just more interesting once you start thinking about it, and reading about it, and looking at um, essays about perception and language and all of that. And lastly, there's a cat butt right there. Oof. And lastly, I love that the Laudon Dictionary does have words for programmer and ham radio. So, I don't know how to tell you that I'm asexual in Laudon, but I can tell you I'm a programmer and that I have a ham radio.